An incredible underdog story is fueling a cricket moment in our country. This month, the U.S. is co-hosting the World Cup for the first time. And Team USA won its first two matches, including a huge upset win over cricket superpower Pakistan. And as Chanel Call shows us, that's helping boost interest across America. On a field in Bowie, Maryland, Go! these kids are playing a game unknown to most Americans, cricket. Yeah! When I first started playing, my mom was like, girl, what are you doing? <laughs> so, 13-year-old Jordan Hinkle Walker had never even heard of the game until three years ago when Coach Sean Chutu brought cricket to her classroom. I called up the principal and said, hey, I would like to come to the school and do a cricket demo. What was the reaction? It was crazy. And you see the, the whole faces would light up. Choo Choo grew up playing in Trinidad and has made it his mission to share the sport in America since moving here 30 years ago. Back then, it was mainly the immigrant population for playing cricket. It was a fun way to get together. Then when he had children, Choo Choo wanted to share this piece of his culture with them. And I said, well, why don't I start a cricket program here? That program became the first elementary school cricket league in the country. Now, over a decade later, we have 86 teams and more than a thousand kids playing cricket. The sport is exploding from coast to coast. USA Cricket says more than 400 leagues have opened in America, with over 200,000 players and counting. It's truly a watershed moment for cricket in this country. Cricket reporter Smit Patel says the pro game is growing too. Last year, Major League Cricket debuted in the U.S., and cricket will be featured at the 2028 Olympic Games in Los Angeles. It's the second most played sport in the world. This week, for the first time, the United States is co-hosting and competing in the International Cricket Council's Men's T20 World Cup. Now, with the world watching, these little cricketers can dream bigger than ever before. Nice job, nice job, guys.